up people this is Mike right here back again with another video and for all of you new viewers I want you guys to please subscribe to the channel Bang that subscribe button right there yo please subscribe to my channel I would appreciate it and also BAM right there give this video a thumbs up please rate this video after you watch it of course I'm here to talk about some uh, very important tragic news that just happened um like yesterday between 31st this guy right here boom James Avery Yo, he just died, like, between the 31st, coming into the new year on the 1st. He was in the hospital. He had, um, apparently he had open heart surgery in, um, November. And for those who don't know who that is right there, that's James Avery, the guy that played the dad of uh, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Uh, yeah, like I said, he had open heart surgery in November of, um, it's like two months ago. And, um, they thought he, I'm pretty sure it's time he thought he was getting better, and then all of a sudden, you know what I'm saying, he woke up on the 31st feeling like shit. And um, he just took a turn for the worst that day, but um, it's just so sad to see him go. Yo, he died at 68, not 65, so for those who out there, I don't know if y'all getting y'all information from, saying he's 65, he was 68. Look up his um, his birth year, he was 68, not 65. So if all y'all keep saying he's 65, y'all need to do y'all goddamn research. Shit. Anyway, he was 68 years old. Um... So so sad to see him go so soon, man. Like a lot of people nowadays are not even reaching the age of, you know what I'm saying, 75, 80 years old. And that's just, 68 is not even old, man. Compared to, like, you know what I'm saying, Nelson Mandela, that guy was like 95, 96 years old. And, um, and perfect health. And he just, um, Nelson Mandela just died, you know what I'm saying, because of old age. But, um, apparently, uh, James Avery had issues with his heart. Apparently, oh, you know what I'm saying, I don't know if he had, like, a triple bypass or... I don't know what the case might have been, but, you know what I'm saying, he had to have open heart surgery. And, um, we do know he was a, you know what I'm saying, a big guy. You can see from the picture right there, that's what he looked like now. He lost weight, you know what I'm saying, since he got older, but, you know what I'm saying, when he was young on the Fresh Prince, you know what I'm saying, he was a, you know what I'm saying, a big guy. So, you know, carrying around all that weight isn't healthy either, but, you know, um, it's just sad to see him go, man. Um, I would say, like, I don't know, my top three, he was actually one of my favorite TV dads. I would say, like, my top three TV dads would be, uh, Bill Cosby. James Avery, and it's kind of a toss up between um uh the dad the dad from Good Times and um Conrad Bang. It's kind of a toss up between them two, but those would be like my top three or four dads right there. I'm not just saying James Avery because he died. I'm doing a video on it. He was actually one of my you know what I'm saying favorite TV dads. I'm actually being honest. So like I said, Bill Cosby, James Avery, and the toss up between James uh, Conrad Bang and the guy from uh, Good Times. So um damn, when I heard about that, I was like, damn, that's crazy. But like um like the two most important things you need to live is your brain and your heart. And once you start having issues with either one of them, it's a wrap. I mean it's not a wrap, but you know what I'm saying? Y'all get what I'm saying. Your brain and your heart are your two most important things you need to function. If you get a broken leg, you can live with a broken leg. You broke your arm, you can live with that. You sprain your you hurt your back, you can live with that. But once you just start messing up and they start messing up, you got serious issues. So um so sad to see him go, man. Um Y'all hit me up in the comment section below and let me know what you think of James Avery death. Oh yeah, he left behind his wife Barbara Avery. Uh, he was married to her for 26 years. And he left behind, I think his uh, stepson, I didn't get the guy's name. He left behind his stepson and his wife Barbara uh, Avery. Like I said, married to her for 26 years. They was married since uh, 1987, I believe. So, uh, sad to see him go. But yeah, y'all hit me up in the comment section below. And let me know what you think of James Avery Death and what you thought of him in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. And holler at my mouth, alright? Peace.